Well, they call this a friendly, but the crowd clearly doesn't think so, and nor in actual fact the way. Well, I'm sitting here, Peter, thinking, is it possible for these two to meet under friendly circumstances? This exhibition match is likely to exhibit the same old rivalry. To me, it also has the same feel to it. And I'm pretty sure we can look forward to what will be a combative, high-intensity affair. We can't really say anything negative about this. And if it is full-on, then I'll be happy to watch that. And we're underway. A really good feat. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. And here's the big chance! Goal! FC Copenhagen! And it's FC Copenhagen who take the lead. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Copenhagen, go ahead, one goal to the good. Looking to hit the front line. Uh, ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Plays it out to the wing. That is terrific skill. Boylson tries to clear. That's gone a long way up and away. And that's been one straight back. Copenhagen scored early, of course, and the score is 1 0. Drilled in low. And that should be the keepers. Come back to the keeper. Gets it upfield. Boylson positions himself well and cuts it out. Ball's out on the left now. Played into the middle. Timely intervention. Tries to get it forward quickly. Copenhagen are leading with half-time drawing close. Radosevic. Hoists it forward. Oh, good interception. And it's Fischer. Ball through needs to be good here. And it's been taken straight back. There's the whistle for half-time. 
So there you have it, a close-fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Copenhagen head for the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. Well, the action has already resumed here. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Josip Radosevic. Chance to cross it. Up for the header! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. Obviously increases your chances of the ball being met like that by someone. Josip Radosevic drives it forward. Forward it goes. And play for a throw. Out for a throw. Pinged one, real chance! And it's played forward. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, while the temptation's always there, Peter, I think it would be ill-advised of them to try settle for what they've got. Radosevic. Now it's Fischer. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. Keeper's got good distance on that. Right through the middle. Copenhagen are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Josip Radosevic. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Time for a change in personnel. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Oh, what a shoot! It's there! And surely that does it!
perfect time, decisive strike. Well, oh, what a cracking goal, but a cracking touch as well. That's what made it for me. That's brilliant play all round. Two up and very little time left. Surely this is it. Well, some fans are already on their way out. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Copenhagen did it. Terrific team effort to satisfy both the boss and the fans. Thoughts on what we've just seen? Copenhagen made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know, it's, it's not always about form, it's not always about class or style, it's about pride and they showed loads of that. Their attitude was spot on today. Just remains for me to thank Jim Be